Good morning, YouTube piping community. Greetings from South Africa. Smoking today my Peterson pipe with some cherry flavor house blend tobacco. Today's video is a blast from the past. Just take you guys a little bit back. That's how I got into pipe smoking. So we can start at the beginning and you can carry on the journey with me as we go on. We go back to the year 1988. I am 16 years old in high school. On weekends, I am working at the golf course, picking up the golf balls that the people hit on the range. And yeah, but there was a group of guys that used to come every Saturday and Sunday mornings. Uh, there were gentlemen, there were five gentlemen. Four of them used to smoke cigars, and one of them used to smoke a pipe. And to me, the pipe smoker you, you looked more elegant, you looked more appealing than the other guys with the cigars. The guys with the cigars look flash, look like they have a lot of money. But sophisticated was the man with the pipe. And so I used to work there and carry the, the caddy, pick up the, the golf balls, Sometimes clean their shoes after they're going through the mud paddy. And in those years, the golf course was made for the rich and famous of South Africa. We, as the Indians, uh, were not allowed to be among them due, due to the, the laws of the country at that time. But luckily, I found a small part-time job. And those guys used to smoke their cigars and they used to smoke the cigars just below the half. And they should throw it in the bucket of with the sand inside. It was the, like a fire bucket. And they should drop it there in. The cigars used to go out gracefully. They never used to squish it or squash it or break it. And after they all smoked and played, I used to pick up all those cigars and put them in a Ziploc bag and take them home. And I used to go to school on the Monday morning and we had a guillotine cutter for paper in the school, staff room. And I used to go there and cut the edges off of the cigars on both sides where it was burnt and the side that was in the mouth. And after school, I used to smoke those cigars with a toothpick <laughs> stuck at the end. And that's how I got into premium tobacco. When I finished school, I went to go help my dad at the store. Now, my dad had a store in the farming community, a very small store that was made for every daily, daily things. You now, the guys never used to go to town. Uh, town was 20 kilometers away. So if they needed small things like a shoelace or a, t a ton of food or a cold drink, a pair of cigarettes, matches, those kind of things, they should just drop in there by my dad and buy the few things and get on with their farming. So one afternoon, a farmer came to the store. He bought some things that he needed. And as he was leaving, he took out a pipe from his pocket. And I said it loudly. I wish I could smoke a pipe. And he turned around and he looked at me as if, wow, what did you just say? He looked at me and he didn't say anything, got into his vehicle and he drove away. An hour later, he came back to the store and he handed me a pipe and a small packet of tobacco. Now, this is the pipe that he handed it to me. It's a very old pipe. It was one of his first pipes that he had that he gave me, which I smoked and then I kept. I didn't smoke it after I started earning and be able to buy a pipe. These pipes were very cheap. They were like 20 rands. At that time, 20 rands was closely like to a dollar, dollar and a half around there. But this is the pipe he gave me. 
and he gave me a small packet of tobacco. And in those days, education wasn't like today, where you had to demonstrate, show, teach, explain. All those things were not there. He just gave you the pipe. He told you once, fill your pipe with tobacco. Do not fill it too tight. Make sure there's an airflow when you pull through and you smoke. Two things. You do not inhale. You don't take it through your esophagus, into your lungs, and through your butthole. Okay? He said, and you let the smoke rotate in your mouth. And then you exhale it slowly throughout your nose. That's all he said. And he left. And that's when I started picking up pipe smoking. And that's how I started. And slowly, slowly with the techniques. And I used to just smoke a normal pipe. Puff and puff away and enjoy it. Later, I started learning the new techniques. Which my favorite one is, is the breathe method. I find this method of smoking very nice. It keeps the bowl cool, the tobacco doesn't burn out, the pipe stays lit quite longer, and you don't get tongue bite. So gentlemen, that is my story of pipe smoking. That's how I got into piping. And I would just like to thank everybody. This is my very first video. Please. Criticism in the comments, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, where I can tweak, where I can maybe have to prepare something. I'm not sure. You guys out there, my friends, my brothers, I appreciate everything. God bless you guys. Keep you guys well. Oh, and one thing. I'm wearing a South African hat called the Rogue Savannah. You can see there inside it's called the Rogue Savannah hat. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, this is a handmade hat. This company was in production from 1974. So that's my haberdashery, which I love. And I wear two or three different kinds of hats, but they're all made by the same company, all by Rogue. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very much for everything once again. And God bless you guys. Go well.